Grüezi. Ted here today with the Exped Universal Coupler Kit. Sometimes you're lucky enough to go on an adventure with your partner. And in that case, it's nice to not have your mats floating all over the place inside the tent. You'd rather take the two and lock them together. Now everybody's got a different mat that they're using. Some are really thin, some are really thick like this. And then when you're trying to put them together, there's really only one coupler kit that allows you to accommodate different widths, different thicknesses of mats and that is the Exped Universal Coupler Kit. Let me show you how it works. First of all, it comes in a nice, neat, reusable package. Might be nice to store it in that, even on the trail or something else. And there are actually two of these. One of them I've already put down there at the foot area of the mat, and the other one I'm gonna put at the head end. Now, do yourself a favor. Don't wait till you're stuck in a rainy tent with a headlamp and try and do this and impress somebody, because you're not gonna impress anybody. Take the two mats that you're gonna be using on your trip, inflate them at home, and do the adjustment at home. It'll save you a lot of misery later on. Here's how it works. It's a simple flat strap. And in the middle is an adjustment that allows you to accommodate for the thickness of the mat. It's this terracotta piece right here with a little Velcro tidy on it. And on the outside are two Velcro tidies for accommodating the width of the mat. I'm gonna show you how to adjust those. In this case, I'm using a seven centimeter mat, but it could be a 12 centimeter or a two centimeter mat. And to accommodate that, what I want to do is unroll the Velcro right here. Now, if I want to make it available for a thicker mat, all I have to do is unroll the terracotta baffle piece. You can see how I've got it substantially wider there for a thicker mat. And now I'm going to go ahead and put it back down to where I had it so it accommodates roughly a 7 centimeter mat. It can be a little bit narrower than the actual thickness of the mat. Then go ahead and take the Velcro tidy and just wrap it around and lock it on. Again, that, just to say it one more time, is to accommodate the thickness of the mat. Once I've done that, then I go to the outside, and this allows me to accommodate the width of the mat, this adjustment right here. And the same thing happens. You've got a Velcro tidy. I undo that Velcro tidy just like so. Give it a few wraps, or unwraps. Now I've undone the Velcro, and I can go ahead and make it wider, just like doing this, or I can go ahead and make it narrower, just by rolling it back like so. Pretty easy. What you want to do, take that Velcro tidy and wrap it all the way back around. What you want to do is effectively adjust it so it's just a little bit snugger than the thickness, or excuse me, a little bit tighter than the actual width of the mat. That way it'll stay on there nice and easy. I've already done that adjustment for the medium wide mat that I've got over here. You can see that. And all you do then is take the mat, take the strap, Go ahead and slide it right onto the mat, like so. There's one. Here's the other one. Slide it into position, and you're set to go. They're thin. You won't even know that they're in place when you're sleeping on them. They hold the two mats together so you don't have a gap in the middle. It's really nice. The mats aren't going to migrate around. Ideally, you take the sh this particular strap at the head end of the, of the uh, mats and put it at about shoulder elevation. And you take the one down at the foot end and put it about knee elevation. That really helps to keep things anchored tight in place. Great sleeping platform. Great way to keep things from floating around on the inside of the tent. And have a great trip out there with your partner.